Well, the first ever Porto's Bakery, yeah. people love it, right? <laughs> Just opened in Orange County today. KCAL 9 Orange County reporter Michelle Gilly is live at the new bakery in Buena Park, where the lines are really, really long. <laughs> Michelle? Absolutely crazy. As I was driving here myself trying to get off the five free freeway, I wondered what is going on here. I got closer and oh my gosh, these folks here, fans of Porto's, they tell me that they have been in line for four hours. Now, this is the biggest of the Porto's chain, as you said, the first here in Orange County. And the first person who lined up this morning, she came at 4 50 a.m. Uh, yeah, but don't tell anybody. I, <laughs> we'll just keep that on the low. <laughs> it's a secret no more. Crystal Laredo, the very first person in line for the wildly popular Porto's Bakery opening in Buena Park today, is skipping louder. out on work so she can enjoy their cheese pastries. And then I've heard a lot about their potato balls, and I just recently heard that they have now seafood. Uh, potato balls, so I'm excited about you know trying something new. These are favorite Porto family recipes from their native Cuba. Buena Park is the fourth location in the chain and the first in Orange County. By the size of the crowd, a line that snakes down Beach Boulevard and around the bakery, customers are ecstatic. For Betty Porto, one of three siblings who run the business, this never gets old. I mean, it's every time we open one of these stores, it's the same feeling because it's like you're starting all over again. But what gets, what's, what gets me is time after time is the people willing to come. I came at four in the morning and they're lining up. At, right now they're lining up around the block. Porto's signature item is the cheese roll, puff pastry filled with cream cheese at just 80 cents. The most popular item is right here. That's a cheese roll. I mean, we sell a million five hundred of those a month. Cuban-born actor Andy Garcia has been shopping at Porto's for years. I think the not only the quality and the taste, but also the the price points that they give the public, the service they give the public, how easy it is to come through here. And even though you see a huge line, it moves it moves a lot quicker than Disneyland, you know. Uh, so you know, you it, it, they just know how to do it, you know, and they care about it, and they care about doing it. The right way and at the right price point, which I think is important. All right, full disclosure here. Here it is, and guess how many I've had now? <laughs> I can have three or four, Michelle. I'm so not that's kidding. Very easy. This is my third. See? This is my third, <laughs> and this is what I'm having next. Now we Look know why they sell a million fruit pastry. Half a Juan Carlos is the baker. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but it's going to take me four hours to line up, so I'm sorry I can't help you up there in the studio. Yeah, you got to eat them you. when you can, Michelle. A lot of people are angry my that goodness. Michelle jumped to the front. Of and there's nothing better than a little puff pastry and cheese, and it's crunchy, mm. so mm. delicious. Michelle, you have the best assignment of the day. Thanks so much, Michelle. Mm -hmm.